what's up thank you so much for being on this video and as you can tell by the title this is a workout video <laughs> button and notifications bell like comment and share and let's get into the video before we get into the video make sure to comment down below future videos that you want to see and also go ahead and follow my new tiktok account my crocheting one cozy create creative creations this workout is about like 10 to 20 minutes so make sure to go hit that subscribe button let's get into it so I will not be um, playing any music, it will just be a voiceover. So go ahead and start your own music and I'll count you in and explain everything that you will have to do and how to do it. So we're going to start off by doing some head raises up and down. We are going to be doing six of them on each side and now we're going to move to do the right and left and we're going to do them six times again now we are going to reach our arms up and pull our head to the side but make sure you don't pull it too hard to give the neck a nice stretch begin to raise your arms up and down and give nice big breaths up and out and up and out and up and out. Now we are going to hold in our leg with our hands and then begin to pull it to the back where your foot is touching your bum and we're going to repeat onto the other side. Go out into a wide second and reach over to a side. You can copy the same size as me, but you're going to now pulse in this position to get a really nice side bend to make sure that you're nice and stretched before working out. We are going to start by doing 16 jumping jacks. If you're a dancer, I would recommend pointing your toes um, when you go up and out and make sure your arms are stretched, but if you are not, then just do whatever feels comfortable for you. Now that your heart is racing, we are going to be doing 16 burpees. Make sure to keep a nice form, and when you go down in the plank, don't stick up your bum. If you are on hardwood or cement or anything like that, you can get something slippery and slide it with your feet out to make it a lot easier than jumping out and in. That's what I'm doing, but with socks and hardwood. You're also going to want to make sure to put your arms up in the air when you jump and then come down. Begin to jump side to side, right to left. This is working out your calves and legs and also getting your heart rate up. Now we're going to continue, but taking our arms out to the side and up like we are clapping. Get prepared to get your heart rate up because we're going to be doing some more jumps. We're going to be doing 16 jumps in first, then opening up and doing more jumps in ballet first, and then opening up into ballet second and doing some more jumps. Make sure to stay hydrated. So now after all of that jumping and exercising, you're going to walk around your room so you keep your heart rate up and lift your arms above your head to really open up the lungs. And at any point of this exercise, if you need some water, just go ahead and pause the video and take it whenever you need. Now we're going to do a weight track. So we're going to start off by doing 16 lifts with the hands facing you and just coming up to shoulder length. Make sure to keep your arms engaged at all times because it is easier than going from out engaged to engaged. Now we are going to take our hands from the outside and up to second. Make sure to not have an arch in your back because you could injure yourself. 
Now lift your arms into a bent second and lift them up and down. You're going to complete this for 16 times and try not to have an arch in your back and keep your arms engaged at all time. If you need a break, you can have it, but try to keep on going with this weight track because it will have the best results. Now put your arms above your heads with one or two weights and begin to lower down and up. We are going to continue doing this for 18 times and try not to have an arch in your back. Now we are going to do like a little combo with this weight track. We're going to lift up, lift up in the air, then open in second, bring down, and then lower down. You are to be engaged this whole time and we are going to do this eight times. Really try to engage your muscles at all times. Trust me, if you were feeling the burn, that is a good burn because I was for sure feeling it too. And just keep on hanging in there because you will have the best arms ever. Now for our last exercise for the first workout, you're going to bend over, kind of sticking out your butt a little bit and raise your arms to the side of you. And we're going to do that 10 times. First up is abs. We are going to do 16 crunches and then we're going to hold for eight counts. You're going to do this two times. Between the two times, if you do need a break, you can have one, but it is not suggested because it will have the best results and it will get your abs engaging the best. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Begin to lift your legs up in the air and move your body from side to side, from right to left. As you do this, you are working the side of your abs and you're going to repeat this 20 times in total. So you're going to do 10 on the right and 10 on the left. By now, you should for sure start feeling the burn. If you do not, you can take it another level. For example, in this round, we are going to go down flat and come up in a tabletop. We're going to repeat this 10 times. But if this is easy for you, then you can come up with straight legs instead of bent. Personally, I like doing bent because I get to focus on my abs and all the muscles engaged. Also, to make sure to keep your head and feet dropping at the same time. Don't let your feet and head drop at different times because you are working your abs differently. Now you're gonna go ahead and get into a plank position and bring your knees into your elbows. You want it to be turned out so the inside of your knee is going to the outside of your elbow. You're gonna go ahead and repeat this 20 times. So 10 on one side and 10 on the other. Now we're gonna go ahead and begin to do push-ups. If you would like to do the push-ups from your feet, you can totally do that. I like doing them from my knees because I get to focus on all my muscles and make sure that my back is not arching. For these push-ups, you're going to want to bring your elbows in instead of out because we're going to be working the outside of our arms or you could call them the back of our arms. You're gonna go ahead and repeat this 10 times. Now we're going to begin with calf raises. If you are a dancer or anything like that, calf raises are extremely important. If you're not and you're just a day-to-day -day person doing a workout with me, then that's totally okay. Calf raises are very important. So now we're going to first do calf raises with our feet together and 20 of them. In dance terms, this is jazz first. 
Now we are going to open in kind of like a frog position with our heels together, turned out. We're going to do 20 calf raises, and in dance terms, this is ballet first. After this, we are going to extend our legs and go into a big second position, ballet second, and do another 20 calf raises. So in total, we are going to do 60 calf raises. If you do not feel these calf raises, then you must have extremely strong calves because halfway through, I started feeling it and I felt the burn. So just push through it and you will have such amazing calves. So we have completed the workout and now we're going to do the end stretch. So we're going to bend over and try to touch the floor. If you can't touch the floor, that's totally okay. Just try to. And now we are going to wrap our hands around our legs. Now if that's at our thighs, our knees, the back of our ankles, that's perfect. Now we're going to go into a butterfly stretch with our feet together. We're going to flutter our legs to give a nice big stretch in the inner thigh of our legs. Now bend over so you can get an even bigger stretch in that place. And if you can't go all the way down, just try your best. You don't have to be perfect. Open your legs to a big second and reach over to the right, or whatever way you want to do first. Do some pulses and make sure you're stretching the side. And now begin to face your leg. When doing the pulses and reaching over, make sure to not lift the opposite hip off the ground. When doing pulses, it probably will come off, but really try your best to not make it come off the ground to give it the best stretch that it, you can have. Begin to wrap your leg around the one that's bent on the floor, and we're going to do a nice back twist and stretch out our back. Don't do it too hard because you could end up cracking your spine. It may feel good, but it's not really healthy for your spine. So you're going to go ahead and do it on the other side. And guess what, guys? We are done the exercise. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me with this workout. I hope you enjoy it and um, I hope you like the stretch before and after because before you work out, you should always stretch before and after because you do not want to hurt yourself. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you in my next video.